of farmers at Sakugu in the East Mampris municipality of the Northeast region are uncertain of a good harvest this year. Their fears are as a result of shortage of fertilizer, leading to an increase in the price of the commodity. Speaking to John Eustace Elias Utanko, the farmers described government subsidized fertilizer intervention under the Planting for Food and Jobs program as a failure. Correspondent Elias Utanko has more. This long truck has just arrived from Techima with bags of subsidized fertilizer after making selective stops and dropping down few bags in other communities. Here at Sakugu along the Nalirku Bunkurgu Highway, several farmers could not wait and have rushed out from their homes to purchase their input. These farmers have desperately been waiting for the arrival of the subsidized material since June when the first consignment was delivered to farmers in certain parts of the region. To their disappointment, however, they were informed the supply was not open for sale to the general public, but only a specific group of not less than 80 farmers. But who are these lucky farmers? Assemblyman for the Sakoku Electoral Area, Adam Tahiru, is a member of the group who spoke to Joy News. What is happening here is it's best for people who have come here with fertilizer for us to put into our farms. Sincerely speaking, it's best for who used to give us this fertilizer during rainy season and after harvesting, we also pay back to them. They give it to us on credit. Without best for, we won't have even get fertilizer. Without best for, we won't have even get it. The consignment has been brought in by the Boku East Small Scale Farmers Association to be distributed to only eight customers across the region as part of a pre plan arrangement between the bank and the farmers. The assemblyman said the supply wasn't enough even for the registered customers. While he poured out his frustration over what he said was unprecedented challenges facing the subsidized fertilizer program under this administration. We those in northern region or in northeast region, we are far behind back. We are far behind back. We are not getting anything. I should have even said right from here to Nalugu, it's even our regional capital. It's even our regional capital. We are not even getting somebody there dealing with food and job, planting for food and job. No subsidy in our region. No subsidy. I would say in the region south. I will not say in Sakugu alone. Because even today, I was in Nalugu. I couldn't be able to get even a single mini bag as to sell with subsidy. Never. So me, I don't even understand whether we those in Northeast region, are we part in are we part of Ghana? I'm not sure that we are even part of Ghana in Northeast region. If we were to be part of Ghana, planting them food or the subsidy should have even been with us for long. All our crops have swelled. Alidu Isaka is also a certified customer of the bank. He registered eight bags for his two hectare maize farm, but he was given four and a half back. He's not happy and accused the government. So, government ma katu fabu nante hira kaso swa. He wana nanto songoti. We are looking up to the government to help end the fertilizer shortage in the region. We should open up the door for our leaders to assess the fertilizer to bring to us. Because we depend on agriculture as a nation, and therefore if farmers fail, the whole nation is going to suffer. Suli Azumi, another customer of the bank, also got a half of her request for 10 bucks. She too is not happy with the government and pleaded with the Greek ministry to make available fertilizers to save their farm crops from perishing. Or she's pleading, or we all are pleading to the Minister of Agri to put effort or to wake up to manage in order for us to get fertilizer to apply, to apply our crops. With that stuff, that all our crops have even spoiled already. Already our crops are spoiled. Ilyasu Tanko reporting.